pretty good shape. But tell you what, little lady, you're going to have to help us help you. The nurse says you're not drinking any water. And you know what happens if you don't drink any water? We're going to have to feed you intravenously. Okay. All right. That sounds normal. Yeah, pretty good. Do you want to hear your heart, Robin? You used to think it was fun, huh? Robin? Please? Robin? Would you like to listen to my heart? Boom, boom. Or Simone's, huh? I've tried everything I can think of, but all she does is lie there. Why don't you leave me alone with her for a few minutes? Okay, I'll be outside. Thank you. Thank you. It's all right. It's okay. I just did that to prove that you can hear me. You can't hear me, can't you? You don't have to use any words. You can just shake your head yes or no or no or yes, whichever comes first. That was a little joke. A very little joke. Listen, Robin, are there any movies you especially like? Say, uh, The Three Stooges, Snow White, Gone with the Wind? You know, I can set a VCR up right over there and we can watch any movie you like, huh? What do you think? Dr. Hardy. Yes. Chief Lewis is here. He'd like to see you. Okay, I'll be right out. Thank you. Robin, I just want you to know that everyone here loves you. And we're worried about you. It's all right. You'll pull on the needle and hurt yourself. I know. I'll get another pillow to prop that arm up. Oh, Don't move, honey. finished soon. Tell me if I'm in the right place or not. Who is it? I'm um, here to pick up clothing and personal effects for this Philomena Soltini. Died a couple of hours ago. Go back to emergency and start over. They have you on the wrong floor. This is Robin and she's very much alive. Sorry. hates that IV worse than anything. Costin's turned so I thought she was going to yank it out. Ah, poor baby. Then she started crying about something. And since then, she's been closed up tighter than ever. Well, that's good in a way. Some response is better than nothing at all. Yeah, and who likes an IV? Tell you what, why don't you go on your break, because we're going to be here a while. Yeah, we'll be fine. Okay. I know that IV doesn't feel very good, sweetheart, but... The only way we can get some nourishment in you until you start eating again. Robin? If anything, she looks more tormented than before. I see that. Let me try this. Robin? I'd like you to do a favor for me. I'd like you to think about your father. Think of what he looks like. How he smiles and how he laughs. All the happy times you spent together, maybe at the zoo or 
playing games, carrying on, whatever. Right here, I have a picture of your father. Robin? What do you call him, Daddy? Hmm? Is this your Daddy, Robin? You want to look at the picture? Well, your Daddy's coming to visit you very, very soon. He's out of town. They're getting in touch with him, but he's coming back. You want to see the picture, Robin? It's your daddy, isn't it? And she is trying. It's wonderful, Robin. I know you can do it. I know you can. Show her the other one. Okay. Robin, do you remember when your mother married Duke? Hmm? You remember how beautiful she looked in that gown and how handsome Duke was? Hmm? Now look. Mm. Here's a picture of your mother and Duke. Okay, what on earth would... These are happy people. Does that upset you, Robin? Excuse hmm? me? Yes, Dr. Hardy or Dr. Ravel. Chief Lewis wants to see one of you as soon as possible. Tom, you go. I'm yeah, I'll deal with him. Here. I realize that Mrs. Jones has a deep personal interest in the welfare of General Hospital and, and the members of its staff. And believe me, believe me, I respect that. But this is, is no ordinary hospital. We have a standard of excellence to maintain here, which must extend itself to the child care center. Well, do you feel that our reputation is in jeopardy if we appoint Mrs. Jones as a director to the center? I just don't feel that she has the, the qualifications in child care that she needs. In other words, she does not have Irma, the necessary degrees. Irma, just... with all due respect, <clears throat> when you look at the figure for this whole operation, you're talking about a high-priced director. And I think that we're going about this whole thing a little bit backwards here. Now, the director of a child care center like this doesn't have to be a medical professional any more than Dan has to be a doctor to be on the board. The director organizes, raises funds, and takes care of the facilities. And she'll actually hire all those people with, with the fancy degrees to look after the children. Exactly. Not to mention building political support in the hospital and in the community. And you honestly think that Lucy Coe, uh, I'm sorry, Tony, uh, Lucy Jones is up to the job? I mean, people keep talking about how she plans to run the child care center, but do we know that she actually intends to do it that way? Edward, why don't you just ask her? Yes, she's right outside. I assume she has a master plan work. Well, with. she certainly has a lot of ideas. Well, let's hear them then. I'll go get her. <laughs> Lucy, would you step inside for a moment, please? And how will you find the people to staff this child care center? Well, I would go directly to the people who make that their profession, the uh, personnel office at General Hospital. Who is going to make the final decisions on the staffing? Well, um, this board, of course, and I would think that it would be a committee of myself and you and Dr. Hardy and Mr. Rooney and several other selected board members. Who's going to determine the day-to-day -day child care level on an ongoing basis? You know, it's a grueling task taking care of 40 or 50 preschool children. Oh, believe me, I, I know that. I know how tired I can be at the end of the day after taking care of my stepdaughter. But uh, women have been taking care of children and loving it since time began. And this child care staff would be trained and, and rigorously screened so that there would be no chance of any foul-ups that, that would be screened just exactly like the staff members here at General Hospital because our children are so important to us, I don't think they deserve anything less. You still haven't answered the question. I, I beg your pardon? My father would like to know if you're going to run the child care center by yourself. Well, no. No, of course not. That would be impossible. My first job would be to find a, a qualified professional, someone who could be the operations director, who would assemble and train the staff and, and run the whole center on a day-to-day -day basis. I, as the administrative director, would get the community involved, get the press involved, and be responsible for fundraisers and such things. In other words, politics as usual. 
Well, you are my role model here, Dan. <laughs> well, are we ready for a vote? Uh, Dr. Hardy, may I please say one more thing? Go ahead. Well, I know that I need help with my community relations. Um, I am not exactly new to Port Charles, and I know that I need someone behind me, someone, well, someone, frankly, who has connections, and someone that I can trust and depend. So if I'm appointed, I, um, I would like to name Amanda Barrington as my community liaison. That is, Ma Amanda, if you'll do it, I, I need you, please. But of course, my dear. Well, if there are no other questions, thank you, Lucy. We'll let you know shortly. Thank you very much for listening to me. I appreciate you taking your time. Thank you, Lucy. You know what she's doing, don't you? She's gathering material for another sleazy book so she can drag the rest of poor Charles. Hey, Edward, that is mind. unfair and it's unfair. You wait till you find yourself in the book, then you will see what you, know, you have to say. You know, what Lucy did in the past is just that it's the past. He's right, Edward. She's determined to honor the memory of her stepdaughter's mother through this project. Ah, that's very touching. Lawyer, oh, yeah, we'll be touched. You can all be sure of that. Call the question. The question is called. Do I have a second? Second. All those in favor of appointing Lucy Jones as uh, administrative director to the Tanya Jones Child Care Center, please indicate by signing your ballot here for or against. Get it right. They said no. One of these days before I die, I promise I'm going to smash Edward Quartermain right in the face with a coconut pie. He's such an ass. It took three ballots, all ending in ties, but the fourth one charmed. Congratulations. Congratulations. Mm -hmm. You're kidding. Me. No, You're no, no, kidding. no. No, cross my heart. Oh, <laughs> thank you, Amanda. Welcome aboard, Lucy. <laughs> It's my pleasure to tell you you've been appointed first director of the Tanya Jones Child Care Center. <laughs> Good luck. Thank you. I'm going to need it, Dan. Thank you so much. Oh. Lucy, I, I certainly hope you understand that nothing I said in there was personal. Oh, no, no, no. I know you were just <laughs> doing your job. Well, I want to tell you, you certainly made a believer out of me. And I, I think the board made a very wise decision. I wish the very best for you and everything. And listen, remember, my door is always open if you need me for anything. Oh. Thank you so much. I feel like this is the first day of work, and I'm late or something. I have so much to do. Well, you're going to do just fine. Oh. And good luck. And remember what I said. Bye. Oh, Lucy, congratulations. I wish you well. Thank yeah, you, me too. I just wish I had a piece of the movie right to that book. Now, come on, I want to talk to you some more about that. Oh, my God. Oh, so proud of you. I can't believe it. Oh, it was amazing. Well, you stood up there and you made your case. Oh, I, I can't love you. Believe it. I love you. I love you. you. Mm -hmm. 